people learn a lot when they feel safe to talk freely. Humanity is forging ahead as the awakening process unfolds precisely as divinely planned. An enormous amount of preparation has gone into this divine plan to assist you all to awaken, and as humans lost in the illusion without insight, or, more appropriately, awareness of what is unfolding in the spiritual realms, you truly have very little idea of what is involved in bringing this all together in a timely and effective manner. Do not worry, all is divinely taken care of, and all you have to do is constantly hold the intent to be loving in every moment and in every situation without exception, and you must also intensify your own desire to awaken. That sounds easy, and it is. You have all been very much involved in the planning of this wondrous event while taking your well-earned breaks from living in the illusion as a human, or even during your human nighttime while sleeping. Many of you do have some awareness of this, and others have often wondered when they woke in the mornings why they still felt exhausted. There is no child of God who has not in some way been involved in the planning and implementation of your awakening process. You have free will, and that has always been honored, and so for the plan to proceed, it was essential that you collectively agreed to the timing of your awakening. In the end everyone will awaken into reality, that is an inevitability because eternal sleep is impossible. However, some have chosen to remain asleep for a very long time because they are now very shocked by their earlier choice to experience separation, and feel the personal need, on a very deep level to spend time in what you might call intensive care before they awaken. But the vast majority have chosen to awaken, they have had more than enough of the illusion and of all the pain and suffering that are part of it. Remember, you all have free will, and your ever-loving Mother Father God will always honor your choices. Don't forget that when you were created, your Father gave you everything that He had, so when you chose to experience the unreal state of separation, you did so while having access to infinite love, wisdom, and intellectual capabilities. You truly knew precisely what you were doing. It was an arrogant choice, freely made, and now most of you have had enough and intent to awaken. The few who are choosing to remain within the illusion as it crumbles and disintegrates want to stay with it until the end. At the end they too will awaken and be gloriously welcomed home just like everyone else. In reality, in heaven, in God's divine presence, there is no judgment, there is only infinite love and acceptance. If you have friends or loved ones who you feel are not interested in awakening, or who you feel are damaging themselves by their behavior, do not concern yourselves about them, they will be fine. Just honor their free will choices as God does. To offer them compassion is good, but it does not involve attempting to manipulate them for their own good because none of you can have any real idea of what might be good for someone else. If you are worried about someone you love or care deeply for, then the most powerful and effective thing you can do to help and honor them is to quietly extend love to them, you have it in abundance, and extending it increases it. Doing so is a creative act of great value, and is something you incarnated to do as it helps tremendously with humanity's awakening process. You are all personally and collectively very heavily involved in the awakening process, which is why you are incarnate as humans at this moment. A great number had lost sight of this task that they most willingly and enthusiastically volunteered to take on, and now many of them, after decades of non-awareness that they had chosen a spiritual path to assist in the Grand Awakening, are, with great surprise, finding themselves suddenly called to an intense spiritual life. Frequently they hear the call after going through some kind of enormously distressing life experiences which end up signifying to them that they need to alter course now. And they then respond with wonder and awe, why am I being called to a spiritual life, I've never been interested in all that woo-woo stuff. They find that the spiritual call they receive is uplifting, inspiring, energizing, and a little bit frightening. However, they also feel very drawn to it and it feels right. When you meet others who are newly finding themselves taking an interest in things spiritual, be very welcoming and let them talk. They need to talk, and mostly have no one with whom they can talk, because friends and family have not yet shown any interest in things spiritual. 
You're listening to another, is an essential part of your task in assisting with the awakening, so don't judge them as less advanced than you feel you are, remember that everyone's path is an individual one and that no one has the knowledge or insight to judge another's stage of development. Listen with love and compassion, which you have in abundance, and realize that just listening is enormously uplifting and helpful for the one to whom you are listening. As the awakening process continues to accelerate, there will be more and more people needing someone to whom they can talk, someone they can trust to listen to them without judgment, and who will not offer them unasked for advice. People learn a lot when they feel safe to talk freely, because talking expands their awareness of what has been developing within them, and this is always very helpful. So know that by just listening attentively while remaining silent is a wonderful gift to offer to another, it is an important part of the task you undertook to assist in the awakening process. You should feel honored that another will confide in you, for it shows that your light is shining brightly and can be seen by those who need assistance. You are, as I have very frequently told you, the beloved children of God, who is love. Love is reality. All else is illusory and will fade away as more and more return to love and to the infinite joy that is love lived. In that state you want for nothing because you are fully aware that you have everything, not of course in the physical sense where wants seem to be endless, and people appear insatiable, but because the peace and contentment enveloping you is totally fulfilling. As the awakening process continues to call ever more of humanity to seek out and uncover their spiritual path, Remember that you who are reading or listening to this, and to other uplifting and inspiring spiritual messages, chose to be on earth to assist most beautifully. You do this by engaging with love, offering love, not loudly and authoritatively as experts, and by listening gently and willingly to those who are confused, and desperately need a listener so that they can talk and listen to themselves in a non-threatening environment that offers them welcome and safety. It's a little like unobtrusive parenting, you just provide a safe space for them to develop the ideas that are leading them forward with excited anticipation, because to discover, often suddenly and without prior warning, that you are on the spiritual path is intensely uplifting, as many of you already know from your own experiences. Your loving brother, Jesus. Channeled by John Smallman. John Smallman 2.wordpress.com